and Carlo Mencatelli of Time to Resources. This video will help you to understand price equilibrium. If you want to make notes whilst following the video, why not download the handy PDF note taker? The link can be found in the description box below. Market or price equilibrium is that point at which demand is equal to supply. This is known as the market clearing price, as all products will be sold at this price. All buyers can get the exact amount that they want to buy at this price. All sellers provide exactly the amount that they want to sell at this price. Therefore, there is nothing left over. The market has cleared. Any change in demand or supply will lead to a new equilibrium price. We can illustrate this diagrammatically. At a price of P, quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. All products are sold and no products are left over. The market has cleared. At this price, all products that have been offered for sale by suppliers have been bought by buyers. All supply has an equal demand. Excess supply occurs when quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. We always start at equilibrium price P where demand equals supply. If price were to rise to P1, we would have a position of excess supply. At Q1, buyers would demand less because of the higher price. At Q2, firms would wish to supply more. This would lead to a situation of too much supply Q2 minus Q1 in the market. To solve this problem, firms would need to lower price to get rid of excess products. Excess demand occurs when quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. If price were to fall to P2, we would have a position of excess demand. At Q2, buyers would demand more because of the lower price. At Q1, firms would supply less. This would lead to a situation of too much demand, Q2 minus Q1, in the market. To improve profitability, firms could raise price thus reducing the excess demand. Market forces are always pushing prices towards market equilibrium, the price at which demand equals supply and there are no products left over in the market. Too much supply leads to lower prices, too much demand to higher prices. Where demand is equal to supply, we have the market equilibrium price. Shifts in the demand curve can be shown graphically. An increase in demand will see the demand curve shift upwards and towards the right from D to D1. This will cause price to rise to P1 and quantity demanded to Q1. At this point, we have a new market equilibrium, P1, Q1. The shift in demand has led to a movement along the supply curve. Why not pause the video and see if you can illustrate a shift to the left of the demand curve? Shifts in the supply curve can be shown graphically. An increase in supply will see the supply curve shift downwards and towards the right, from S to S1. This will cause price to fall to P1 and quantity supply to rise to Q1. At this point, we have a new market equilibrium, P1, Q1. The shift in supply has led to a movement along the demand curve. Why not pause the video and see if you can illustrate a shift to the left of the supply curve. Thank you for watching and listening to this video. We've now looked at demand, supply and price equilibrium. We call these the building blocks of economics. They lay the foundation of much of the work you will do on the rest of the course. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time to Resources YouTube channel now?